Ask for the spectators to leave the oval. I think they're off now, so can start. 7 6 48 Bell Post Hill, North Geelong 5 8 38. Start of the third term here at St Albans Reserve. Umpire throws the ball in the air for Schwenison and Addy. Goes towards Hardman, who can't pick it up at the first attempt, can the second. Left foot kick, tumbling punt, half forward, open spaces. Fursland leads Parker in the race of the footy. Gets the handball away to Zulix. Gets the free ki kick towards the middle. McLeod takes the mark and can run on for Bell Post Hill. Kick around the corner towards half forward. Page worried out of it. Ball sits for Barton. Gets the handball free back to Turner. His handball outboard is okay. Off a step they go towards Tara again. The big fella goes Ooh. up, can't take the mark. Punched away, McLeod roves at left foot, kick around the corner. Hasn't brought it around far enough and hasn't made the distance. And Well, Rickett could have been paid the mark. The umpire said no. Tari would have marked that ball against just about anybody else in the competition. So a boundary throw and it'll be right next to the behind post. Left forward pocket, bell post still into attack. Northern end of the ground. Boundary throw in. Barton takes it out of the ruck contest. Tries to get it towards Basley. Handball spills free. They well, got the numbers. Urquhart kicks the goal. Took a minute. Will Urquhart puts his first on the board. And the eighth for Bell Post Hill. They go to 8-6-54. They lead North Geelong 5-8-38. The Grandy Cyclone Sport third quarter scoreboard. They, Minute played. They just had the numbers there every time the ball hit the ground. It went back in, the come back out, and the numbers were there. And North Geelong, they probably just didn't match up. I think they've got a match up on Stephen McLeod. I well, know he hasn't played a ripping game, but that's where he does all his damage when he gets it on the outside. On the inside, he struggles a bit. So they've got to make sure, especially that he can't run into the forward line untagged because he can cut him to ribbons. So back with the umpire, middle of the ground. <coughs> I've got a question too. Where's Ren Lovett? I hope he's not injured. We haven't seen him for a while. No, you're right there. So it's Cam Eddy doing the ruck work up against Stevie Rickett. Up, both players up. Rickett gets a tap down again. Hardman and Basley run towards the ball, but it's Stephen McLeod that emerges with it. Puts the ball down in the tackle. Picked up there by Basley. Tried to work his way out of the contest. Went to Whitney. Just fed the ball forward to Addy. Stepped around one. Handled outside. Has well by himself. So well now from backward of centre wing. Little short kick. Found Steve McLeod running free again. once again. Goes long and into the forward line. Urquhart's up. Ah! Oh! It was a bit like watching the footy last night. Lands in someone's hand. And yeah. Justin Tarr, right Zeeble. spot. Zeeble right, last yeah, night. right spot, right yeah. space. And uh, Justin Tarr will go back and shoot for their second goal within this third quarter. He watches too much television, Mark, and all these things. I just go back, run in, kick the goal straight. That's he, all you have to do. He's done that ever since I've watched him play, Tari. Next he'll be doing the Matthew Lloyd, throw the grass up in the air. Tucking the mouth guard in the sock or in the jock strap or something like that anyway. They anyway, don't care what he does as Justin long as he kicks Tart this. comes in from 40 metres out. It's gone across the face of goal and through for a minor. 2-2, two, two, Justin Tarr, 8-7 for the Bell Post Hill side. They lead North Geelong on five goals, eight. We've travelled three minutes, third quarter of the Grandy Cycling Sports scoreboard. The largest lead of the game for the Panthers. What's your chance of North kicking the next two? It's happened every other time. Jared Bryant. From fullback goes to the outer side. <coughs> oh, oh. <laughs> third up, John Woods <laughs> takes the mark. Good mark at half back for the Magpies. Chips the ball to Dan Key. Need a bit more from Keezy. Takes the mark. Schwenison gives him a lead. He wants to switch the play to Reynolds. Cross oh, half back. Matho. Matho by himself goes in that direction on centre wing. Whitney makes up a bit of ground. It's two on one. Oh, he's going to win here too. He is. He's done very <laughs> nicely. Gets away from Eels. Gets a left foot kick around the corner towards a vacant half forward. Turner makes up a heap of ground to take the mark. God, he's quick. He is quick. And he kicks the ball back in, Borden. And a good kick too. And Urquhart takes the mark uncontested. Still 50 out from goal. Possibly too far. Looks for the kick to the, uh, the handball to McLeod. On the wrong side for a right foot. He just chips it up into the pocket. No mark taken. And off the... Uh, off the hands there, the end option. of Reynolds, wrong and it will option. be a boundary throw in left forward pocket for Bell Post Hill. So throw in. They're hanging from the rafters out there. Have a look at it. Rickett takes it out of the ruck contest, gives it to a oh, terrible play. Norch along around the ball, and easy as you like. Uh, Bell Post Hill kicked the goal. It was uh, Rob Wood with the goal. His second. And the ninth for Bell Post Hill. They go to 9-7-61. They lead North Geelong 5-8-38.
to Grandy Cycling Sport, third quarter scoreboard, four and a half minutes played. Just Dangerous now, grab. Yeah, look, that's the second time they've been able to score a goal from little blokes run around the stoppages. And normally, North Geelong come out of defence at the stoppages. So they've, they've just dropped a little bit, actually, North Geelong, since half time. I would have thought the rest has done them good, but it looks like it's made them a bit stale because they're just not playing as well in the last five minutes as they have done them in previous occasions. If they need the last two, mate, now it's important that they do get the next one. Oh, so I have to get them uh, now, yeah. Ball back in the middle of the ground and Bell Post Hill showing there is strong ascendancy in this early part of the third quarter. Again, Rickett up over the top, knocks the ball to the half forward line. It's going to be a race in two here. McNamara is going to lead Fitzsimmons to the ball. Kept it in front of himself, but Fitzsimmons doesn't let him have it easily. Runs to the boundary line and the ball will run over and it will be thrown back in. <coughs> I'll be trying to put Parker back again, I think, just for a five or ten. Jared Bryant, swap him over because he can kick goals too. So the ball thrown back in, half forward line. In front, ball tapped down. Fitzsimmons working through the contest, picks up, goes on the left boot, into the half forward line. Parker, oh, one-handed grab, feeds to Hardman. Hardman goes towards goal. Sammy oh! Clark! Sammy Clark! He got hold of his doctor there, he's not going to let him go. That was a great grab. I thought it was actually going to travel over the top and go through, but uh, Sam Clark has made sure that he's got the ball in his hand. Stevie J around the corner. Sam Clark, he kicks the goal. And North Geelong have one back. They need to get the next, but that's two for Sam Clark and a six for North Geelong. 6-8. They move to 44. 9-7-61. Bell post tilt. Six minutes gone. Third quarter. Well, I said before the game, I've been a little bit disappointed in him since he came into the GDFL. But we always knew that he could do these things. And maybe, just maybe, he might stand up and do a few more before we're through here today. That one had to take from Luke Park was pretty handy too, at pace. And the handball. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll tell you what, if they get up <coughs> here, Luke Park is right in the chances again. Oh, he's got no hope. No hope at all. He could kick six goals from here and he wouldn't win it. If he kicks six goals from here, he's got it. I'll tell that now. <laughs> Pull up. Back in the middle. Rickett gets it down to Hardman. Left foot kick around the corner to half forward. Limer. <laughs> Norman Smith written all over it. Runs across half back. Goes towards centre wing. McLeod. He might have to share it with him. He takes it on centre wing. He uh, must have a disease. Nobody will run with him. The sergeant takes the mark. He kicks it back inboard to him. Plays on quickly. Switches the play back towards Lentini. Doesn't sit for him. Fitzy to come the other way. You keep the eye on that, those two having a crack. Paul Popper giving one two. Lentini goes with a kick towards the pocket. And Tari can't take it with him. Schwenison there as well. And it will be a boundary throw in 30 around for the bell post till goal. So boundary throw in. Rickett, up against Wood, get it to the front. Again roved by Bell Post Hill, basically kicks it around the corner, but he misses through for one behind. They go to 9-8-62, Bell Post Hill. Lead North Geelong, 6-8-44. The Grandy Cycle and Sport, third quarter scoreboard, eight minutes played. Keynes Wellison doing the kicking in from the fullback position as Taylor Reynolds has short. Kick didn't hit him. It's put pressure on him now. He picked the ball up. He went back to Swinnison. The handball was good. Swinnison long out of defence towards centre wing. Whitney up. Oh. And in that position, he was never going to put that ball down. Darcy Eels did everything right. Unfortunately, Whitney has the ball, goes in quickly. Justin Tarr comes out. Good use of the football and a good lead and strong mark from Justin Tarr. So he's going to have an opportunity now to kick another goal. I reckon you can start putting Dylan Whitney up there too. <laughs> he's been, his first quarter wasn't good, but he's been sensational ever since. So Justin Tarr has a kick from about 30 metres out. Not a difficult angle from this side of the ground. Right foot up. Scoreboard side, comes in now, chips towards goal. Nice looking kick, umpire does not move. Justin Tarr has his third goal of the afternoon. And the tenth now for Bell Post Hill, 10 8 68 4, 6 8 44. North Geelong, we've gone nine minutes. Third quarter to Granny Slogan Sports, third quarter scoreboard. Well, he's kicked a couple, Tari, but he, his last one, which he probably should have kicked, he didn't kick. So the pressure was right on him then, because when you start missing them, the, the, you put pressure on yourself. So he went back, the pressure on him, and never missed a beat, and he was up to the task, and that puts Bell Post Hill out to probably the biggest lead we've ever seen between these two in the last year or so. So back to the middle, 24 the difference. Going nice in this third term, the Panthers. DeSanto having a run in the ruck now against Addy. Addy gets it down, tapped on, only as far as Heath gets the handball to Hardman. Goes towards half forward again, Hutchinson. 
Takes the mark at half forward. Plays on under pressure from Zulix. Runs around on the right foot. Goes towards the 10 metre. Oh, mm. Popovsky. He put himself oh. under pressure. 50. Oh, and he played 50. on too. He was going. He he umpire, umpire hadn't called play on. That's oh, the mistake. The Narch. What are you doing, Narchos? Well, he hadn't called play on. So Popov. Oh, oh, it's oh, another one. Jeez. Come no. on. Stop <laughs> mucking around. Popovsky plays on now from centre half back to Sano. Half volley. Pick it up, son. Does now handball to Briggy. Here we go. Briggy takes a bounce. 50 out. Measures a pass. Should have kicked oh, the goal. Should have had a pink. Popovsky takes the mark again. Settles down. Gets it out towards Lentini. Doesn't sit for him at the first. Oh, great tackle, Bryant. Page is there. Handball to Fursley. Handball back to Welve. Oh, terrible kick off the boot. Out of bounds right in front of our commentary position. Here at half forward. And it will be a throw in. Addy and DeSano in the ruck. Two of the uh, smaller men you'd find in the ruck contest. DeSano goes up. Addy gets it down. Matho gets a hand to it. Close to the boundary line. Under pressure. Whitney puts him in to the ground. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. <laughs> Matho and Dylan Whitney doing a dance with each other. Yeah. Looks like an alligator roll. <laughs> <laughs> ball up. DeSano. Heels. Can't take it with him. Van Creek and over the top of the clouds there as well. Whitney. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. Still where, at half forward. Where, where, where's their big blokes? I think they've, they had the ascendancy in the ruck for a while since Lovett's gone on. I think they need either Miller or Rickett in there now to keep that ascendancy. Because now it breaks about even again with DeSanto and Addy. Pye throws the ball in the air. DeSanto goes up, gets it down. Ball. To the back, Van Creeken gets a clearing kick. Fursland runs onto it, got a hand to it. The other way, Derek Fitzsimmons, Fitzy. Handball to Hees, has to finish it, and Ooh, can't. Oh, I'd love to have one more step for Fitzsimmons to get a kick of his own. He wouldn't have missed. 6 9 45, North Geelong. They trail Bell Post till 10 8 68. The Grandy Cycling Sport third quarter scoreboard, 12 minutes played. I love it sitting on the bench, so I don't know what's going on. Not, we wouldn't be saving him for the last quarter, would they? No, he missed a little bit, bit of the second as well. No way. So Lyme again goes out wide and long. Outside 50, McNamara slips in front, doesn't take the mark, but he is uh, good enough to go oh, back and take possession of the ball. Runs away from the half-back line, takes two bounces, kicks into the half-forward, sets up. Uh, Turner pretty nicely, but a good work there from Wood. Went back and threw the ball. He's taken in the tackle now. He needs to get the ball out. Push. Umpire said there's a push in the back. So free kick goes to John Wood. And it's for North Geelong in the half-back line. So he looked inside, but no player there. So back towards the wing he goes. Short lead-up player. Fitzsimmons got a bad yeah, bounce. Ended up in the hands of Page. Kick. Page went backwards and had Basley. Basley spins on the left foot. Quick kick into the half-forward line. There's another whistle blown. Not too sure where it's coming from, but it's annoying me. He picked up there by Swenison. Swenison handballs outside to Darcy Yields. Can turn, can kick. Oh. Needs to be good, but Darcy Yield proceeds to kick it right out of bounds in the full. So North Geelong... Uh, just feeling a little bit of pressure there, I think. Probably not, not enough talk around the ball. And it's going to be Dylan Whitney from out in the half back line. Holy, is he off the ground at the moment, is he? He's not going to do a Stevie Day and sneak back on, is he? <laughs> <laughs> no, McLeod. <clears throat> so McLeod with the football. Has the ball, little short chip up over the top, goes to Urquhart, who comes up, takes the ball. So Willie Urquhart, he's in range here. Seen him most of the year as a backman, tagging on some of their better players, but uh, found his roll up forward today. So an opportunity here to stretch it out a little bit further for the Bell Post Hill side. Kicks towards goal. Nice looking kick, I tell you. I think that might be a goal, is well, it? It's a goal, or oh no, no, it's not the it. point. Well, it's shocking goal umpire. Looked pretty good, didn't it? Ten, never, now, goal umpire <laughs> never moved. 10 9 69, 6 9 45 North Geelong, and we have travelled 14 minutes, third quarter, the Granny Cycling Sports third quarter scoreboard. Magpie's playing the huddle now from full back, and Bryant kicks out long to the outer side, looking for Fitzsimmons, Pisano. Oh, Fitzsimmons for Stuka like. And half back, took the mark. <laughs> he's not gonna. He's not gonna. He's not gonna. No, if he's, he was not happy. He's Stuka got no play. Much better Stuka player. would have played on and kicked the he's goal. He's a much better me. player than for Stuka. He oh, gets the ball. You are an idiot. <laughs> Three Whitley medals to nil. Handball to DeSanto. I've got him going. That's good. Through the middle. 
Heels goes to the right foot kick long towards Briggy. Gets a push. Natch. The Nacho got that one right. And you got to push fair square in the middle of the back, Paul Briggy. And we'll shoot the goal from 40 out directly in front. They need this. Oh, yeah. 24 the diff. Just to make the margin, three goals. Paul Briggy comes in. 40 out. Southern end. Right foot kick. <laughs> Straight through the middle. So, puts his first on the board. Seventh for North Geelong. They go to 7 9 51. They trail Bell Post Hill 10 9 69. The Grandy Cycle and Sport third quarter scoreboard. 15 minutes play. Just when you think they're down and struggling, the old doggy comes up with a, with a different it. move. He comes up with the huddle. But I tell you what, the huddle worked, but it had to be a magnificent mark from Fitzsimmons to make it work, and then down they came. But always trying something different. That's why they're never, ever out of the contest. So Lovett's coming out in the round now, mate, so we've just about to see whether he's travelling on or not. But well, uh, it amazes me if he's not injured, why he's been off for so long, because they've been killed in the ruck for the last 25 minutes. So as we said, we've got the Sando in there. We've got Cam Addy, both players. Probably not accustomed to playing this role, but Addy probably a little bit more. Bell up in the middle of the ground and picked up. Addy's going to pick the one that cleans the ball up, goes back to Lentini. He's timed it steady, looks outside, went to Page. Oh, one hand class. takes the mark. Running play as Sergeant Carter goes into the half forward line. Kick wasn't well directed. Coming out to meet the ball was Urquhart. Didn't take it. Picked up by Jared Bryan. Handball over the top to Fitzsimmons. He's taken a tackle, fed the ball out to Lockie Wright. Wright went to the Sando. He couldn't get clean possession of the ball. Good quick hands. Ends up in the hands of Urquhart. It goes back to the forward line, and the mark's been taken there by Kane Swenison. <laughs> so Swenison deep in defence, has the ball, just looking for his options further afield. DeSanto's going to be the target, goes in that direction. With him is Addy. Both players wrestle for the ball at ground level, picked up there by Benny Bryant. A little bit of pace, dashes through the middle, goes to Hardman on his left side. Good chase there from Turner. Just took him off the ball as he kicked it, picked up by Sulix, coming the other way, handballs over the top. Lentini went wide. Had the running player of Vantella, kicks round his body, goes outside to Pisano, just needs a favourable bounce. He's going to get one, all plenty of time to pick the ball up. Look back inside and had Lentini. Kick wasn't good and he hit the target, but he's able to run on. Kick the ball into the forward line, went to Urquhart, the smallest player on the ground. Again, Tar comes through, body size, can't get it through because there's a good strong tackle there from Brent Swenison. Hold the ball. And... Oh, gee, I don't know whether he had much chance. Had no to... chance whatsoever and no prior opportunity. You are got to be joking. Good kick out quickly. Finds the Eels. Eels plays on and has Benny Bryan. He needs to be held up. Carter can get there and does so now. Next target's going to be Steve Rickett. No, he's gone a different direction. Goes out wide. Pittman and also Stevie Rickett. Ah, oh, look, his name was always written over that. Ooh, oh, I thought he took a couple hey, of steps there, Stevie. Off. He was off. So this could be right on testing material for Stevie Rickett. Has a player in the goal square. Decides to go long. Looks looking for Sam Clark. It's going to run, but it's going to run through for a minor score. And the first one of the afternoon for Stevie Rickett. So they move now to seven goals, ten. North Geelong, ten goals, nine to Belpo Hill. 17 minutes gone. Quick kick in, goes towards Turner on centre wing. So good play by Bellpost still to get it out there. Has to stop and wait, not much to kick to. He handballs over the top. Sets a task for one step, Wood. Rob Wood does it. They're off a step, as he does all the time. Goes to Page, goes up, can't take the mark. Wood's at the back. Got some support with Brent Schwenison. Gets the kick back to Winsett Game. Two on one to Sano's out there for North Geelong. Panthers have got the numbers that they can pick the footy up. They can't. Ball spills free. Handball back, it's okay. Fitzsimmons, short little kick to Key. Sits on the half volley for him. He goes around on the left towards half forward flank. Hutchison punched away by Furzlin at the back. Good defensive play, close to the boundary line. And Furzlin happy to see it over too. At uh, left half forward. Tell you what, that was a quick kick in. They had it up on the half forward flank before <coughs> Smitty got the scores out. <laughs> yeah, they moved it pretty quick. Bell post hill. <coughs> so boundary throw in. Left half forward for the Magpies. Lovett goes up, gets it down. Rove, though, by North Geelong. They get the handball out free towards Rickett to run onto it. Needs to, oh, great pickup. Turns inside, deserves a, a goal, but he goes short towards Briggy. McNamara over the back, does very nicely. Sees it over the line again. Boundary throw in, 20 around from the Magpies' goal. They're 7 10 52. They trail Bell Post 10 9 69. 19 minutes played in the third term of the grand final. Boundary throw in. Love it. Rickett. Rickett gets it down. Roved at the front. Eels. Picks it up now. Gets the handball. He gets free. Yeah, he dropped the footy. Has to be a ball. Yeah, he's gone. Has to be. He had two or three uh, opportunities to get rid of the footy. Couldn't do so effectively. So Dylan Whitney. And only six out of <coughs> ten for the points too. 
Yeah, it wasn't great, really. Needs mm. a bit of work on that for a grand final. Grand final. Gee, give us something, son. Short kick from uh, Whitney. Kicked it to Lentini. He goes along the line. Looking for Lovett. Oh, over the back. Big, big uh, fly. Well, I think he came spoiled his own man. Yeah, it came from Barton, and he ran straight into Lovett, and the ball spills over the boundary line. Yeah, if he's not 100%, you don't know, want blokes jumping all over him, especially your teammates. So, boundary throw in. Sano from the ruck contest pack develops handball comes to Pisano at the back of the pack he breaks free and gets a right foot kick around the corner towards centre wing, Wood in front tapped away by, oh well it wasn't in the end was it, it was a mark, no, it was a mark. Yeah, it was it a mark. Down. first and second bite so Rob Wood, centre wing, chips the ball towards Page in the middle, takes the mark plays on, right foot kick long towards Tarp, big guy. Oh. Oh. Once again, everybody just uh, Jack ran, Zabel. Ran, ran, ran around him. <laughs> ran around him. Everybody jumped up, jumped in the air, there and took Time the mark. Check. So, Time check. Time check. 20 and a half minutes, third term. 20 and a half minutes, third term. 17 points of difference, and Justin Tarr has kicked three goals, two. What about a pot check from Ronnie Brown? <laughs> three goals, two. It'll be more than 19, I can tell you. <laughs> so, Tari comes in. 35 out. Right foot kick. Jeez. Just a behind. Three goals, three is tally. 10 10 70. Bell Post Hill. They lead at North Geelong 7 10 52. To Grandy Cycle and Sport. Third quarter scoreboard. 21 minutes played. Jared Bright out wide. Has Blake Miller in space and by himself. Two bounces in 10 steps. He took then. He kicks the ball long towards centre wing. Ricketts got to be the target going across. Stevie Ricketts doesn't take the mark this time. Unusual. Picked up by Lima. Tried to work his way through the contest. Got uh, caught up in the tackle by Stevie Ricketts. So goes back. Handball off to the silky and smooth. Dan Key goes into the middle of the ground. Finds his teammate and Lockie Wright. His next kick is going to be the important one. Goes towards Sam Clark. Coming out. Gets the ball in the half volley. Can't take it cleanly. Popovsky's there, picked up by Fitzsimmons. Oh, just missed his Got target. a hand there. Yeah, just in time, I would think, because the ball has been picked up by Well. He plays on wide, goes out to Fantella from the half-back line. Steadies himself, took a bounce, took his second one, has plenty of time to look up and weigh up his options. Kick into the half-forward line, goes looking for Urquhart again. These small players took the mark, played on to Steve McLeod on the overlap, goes towards Carter. Oh, and oh he nearly got his way. And the big fella, Justin Tarr, says, move over because I'm coming through. I'm going to say, get out of his way. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's got to kick this one. Seems to kick one, miss one, kick one, miss one. Well, he's missed the last, though. This has got to be a goal on his previous record grub. Well, he's kicked three, three. Probably should have, he probably should have nearly all six of them. Uh, Justin Tarr directly in front of goal, 45 metres out. Loads up, goes long, kicks straight. There you Justin go. Tarr has his fourth of the afternoon. And the 11th goal now for Bell Post Hill. They're 11 goals, 10, 76, 7, 10, 52 to North Geelong. We've gone 22 and a half minutes. Third quarter to Grandy Siphon Sports Scoreboard. He's just starting to be the difference, Tari, and he's just playing. His roll up forward, he's just playing better than, than Briggy and, and Pittman down the other end of the ground. And look, that, that could be oh, another gonna, difference in the game. I think they're going to put DeSano on him now. Yeah. Shrenison's coming up the ground. And DeSano's going down there by the looks of it. But look, <clears throat> that's a bit hard. Or not, that's fair enough. But I think there was a couple Swinnison couldn't stop either. So back to the middle. Rickett up against Addy. Rickett gets it down. McLeod runs back. Zulix is there as well. Runs off half back. Can't take it with him. Ball spills towards Van Creeken. Shuffled the handball back to Matheson. Left foot kick around the corner. Missed the target. McNamara kept his feet. Did nicely. Handball over the top is okay. Van Teller around the corner. Finds a teammate in Barton in between wing and half forward on the boundary line. He chips the ball over the top as well. Zulix takes it. 65 out. He chips the ball towards Tar to San Otar. Got it again. Got it again. Here we go. He's making a play for the Norm Smith, Tari. Oh, he is. He's kicked four goals, three. This is on the boundary line. And these are the ones he kicks. He misses the ones from his Yeah, front. but he got the last one. So yeah. he's got to miss this. Nah. Smith. Is that right? That's it. Grub. He'll kick this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The old Mazzaruni. Here we go. Here we go. You are an idiot, Dowdy. You always have been. <laughs> Kicks across the face of goal. Four goals, four. 
They go to 11, 11, 77. I don't want it to be too You far. did that on purpose. 11, 11, oh, this is what I mean. 11, 11, 77, Bell Post Hill. North, 7, 10, 52, 24 and a half played third turn. Dan Key doing the kick in. Oh, Dan oh no. Off by Cam Addy. Went oh. through uh, Justin Tars leg. Oh. Cam Addy put it down. Dan Key's got to make up for oh. a mistake. He's got the ball. He's been held up. Umpire says that's okay. Oh. Oh, Very lucky. What, they were lucky to get Very out Very lucky. Of that. They're the things that you you really drop your head after when if they kick a goal. So they're lucky to get out of that. Nearly the seven-point play. Ball up. Ruck contest goes down. Running player coming through. Picked up by uh, Taylor Reynolds, I think it was, who kicked around his body. Back towards the half-back line. It's overrun there by his teammate in the Swinnison. Pisano, the first one to get back there. No, it's not. It's Dylan Whitney. Goes on that left boot. Drives it back long. Looking for the player and down forward. By front of the contest. Matheson couldn't pick it up cleanly. McLeod fed it out. Went to Carter. Carter puts the ball uh, in the not air. Not from there. Carter not puts from the ball there. in the air. Sergeant Carter. No way. No from there. Sergeant Carter has the 12th goal for Belpo still. 12-11. 83. And they lead North along on seven goals, 10.52. We've gone 26 minutes, third quarter. The Grandy Cycling Sports third quarter scoreboard. Well, I tell you what, there was just a little fumble in there in the bottom of the pack from the little bloke from North Geelong, and he, he just lost the control of the footy when he should have had control. But I guess he didn't, he just wasn't to know that Sergeant Carter would kick one dead set out of his bum. Because <laughs> he just did. So, biggest lead for the Panthers. Close to siren time for three-quarter time. Back to the middle. Schwenner's having a run on the ruck against Addy. Addy gets it down again. And L L Lockie Wright gets back there. Short little kick to Heese. Back into the centre square at half-back. Miller gives him a lead. Goes in that direction. Zulix against him. Punches it away. Does well. Zulix works his way to the front. Pushed off the footy. Kane Schwenerson. Kick was partly smothered. Mm. Van Creeken. He leaves it behind. McLeod. She's there in trouble. Picks it up. Gets a shepherd too from Ash Whitney. Goes with the outside of the right foot towards Basley. Takes the mark. He's he off. Plays on. Left foot kick around the corner. Tumbling punt towards Turner and Page. He's Page taps it on. Oh, the sergeant could have nearly made it too. He might still be able to. He gets out. it back around the corner. Back towards the corridor. Punched away by Reynolds. Goes towards He's has handball. Brent Schwenison off a step towards Brother Kane. McLeod's there, though. Uses the body. Can't uh, take it with him. The sergeant's up and about. He tried to get around. Right foot kick. Good kick, too. Just held it up. Well, one step. Wood's got it. Rob Wood just inside the centre square. Now he goes long towards full forward. Open goal square. Target's back there. Oh, hands. great defence. DeSando, was it? Through for one behind. 12-84, Bell Post Hill. North Geelong 7 10 52 to Granny Cycle and Sport third quarter scoreboard 27 played. Justin Tar drops his hand, it goes through. Oh, I don't know. Oh, the Sando might have got the fist on it. Do you reckon? Yeah. So Key plays onto himself from the full back position, goes short outside. No, Looking not again. Missed Hardman, but oh. uh, Lux of Fortune ends up in the hands of Swenison. Kicks along the ground. Just gains about 20 metres. Lockie Wright leads in the race for the ball, but Fantella put him under pressure. Went back and collected it. Then didn't see the player coming Let's out. Let's hold the ball. The ball comes out. Ends up in the hands of Eels, who runs into the forward line. Kicks into the half forward line. Sulix comes along. He can't take the mark. Oh, high tackle. Too right. And Dan Wild was going to be the recipient of the free kick. Oh, Stevie, a little bit lucky there. It didn't go back on the full, but the umpire said that's okay. You're an honest bloke. Kicks around the corner, and it's Barton who leads up and takes the mark on centre wing. So, Belpo still now with a real opportunity to push the ball deep into the attack. Once again, goes to the half-forward line. Dylan Whitney sets himself. Ball comes down front of the square. Turner sees a player running through the middle. Um. It's Poposky. Needs a favourable bounce. Didn't get it. Fersland went back and collected it. Kicked around his body. Went, don't know where he was, what he was looking for or how far he was going because he kicked it out of bounds on the full. And it's going to be a free kick to North Geelong. So 28 and a half minutes gone. The Granny Stockton Sports third quarter scoreboard. 7-10 North Geelong. 12-12. Bowl post hill. Quick kick in goes to Brent Schwenison. Round the corner towards Kane. Big thump away. Cam Addy. Hollywood. Serves it over the boundary line for a throw in. Left half forward for the Panthers. They're into attack. Late stages of the third term. 29 played. 32 the diff. Bell post hill in the ascendancy. Waiting for the ball to come back from the change rooms. I think it went into. Rolled straight through the door and it's come back to the boundary umpire now. Right in front of both clubs' change rooms here. Left half forward. Ruck contest. Falls to Eels. Handball to Hardman. Off a step. Back to the middle. 
Pisano just on the ground, takes the mark, handballs over the top to McLeod. He goes with the right foot kick, good kick to Barton. Wasn't really ready for it, took a one-handed if you don't mind. Still 70 out, right foot kick, long kick towards a vacant goal square. Clark goes back for the soccer goal style keeper. He didn't have to worry about it though because yeah. he was missing the target. Well, I wouldn't have been doing that somehow on that hard ground. Through for one behind 12, 13, 85, Bell Post Hill. Is that broken thumbs or wrists or something? I don't know if I'd have been doing that. North Geelong 7, 10, 52, 20, 30 minutes played third term. So Sam Clark goes short, kick was short, and it's hit the target. Benny Bryant, uh, sorry, it's Derry Fitzsimmons, takes a mark and plays on, swings, goes back towards centre wing to Sando, the target. Tars right with him, does well, brings the ball to ground, has support. Whitney put his head over the ball, handball back outside, went missed Lentini, picked up by Lockie Wright. He's taken in a tackle, fed the ball forward. Umpire oh, turn it up, umpire. You have to have some sort of a chance. So Lentini now with the ball. The recipient. Three-quarter time, I think uh, both sides looking for a bit of a break, but uh, Lentini decides now to go f to the centre wing position. Page leads up and out in front, can't take the mark. Ball goes over the boundary line, will be thrown back into the field of play. Spent a bit more time up the, through the midfield today, Joel Page. He has, but well, I asked him about that this morning. But I can't remember what he said. Uh, he's been just holding <laughs> back, I reckon, holding <laughs> back. <laughs> So ball replay started by the umpire. Back of the contest, Fitzsimmons. Kicks round the body. Goes into the half-forward line along the ground. Pittman's going to be the first one to arrive. Gets down. Lima right with him. Traps the ball underneath him. Carter dives in and helps out. And the umpire comes in quickly to ball it up. So five goals to Bell Post Hill. Two to North Geelong during this quarter. And Bell Post Hill there. Handy break at the present time. Ruck work is done. Picked up there. Whitney goes on the left foot. Kicks into the half forward line. Bad bounce for all players. It's going to get Whoa. through. It's going to be picked up Sent there. Belpo still fed the ball back to Stephen McLeod. Missed him, but he's able to go back and collect it. Handballs off towards Pisano. They got one late in the last two quarters. Now they're going long to the goal square once again. Ta Whit uh, does well. Oh, and it's uh, DeSander who knocks the ball through for a minor score to Belpo still. <laughs> So it's now 12-14, Bell Post Hill. Seven goals, 10 North Geelong, 31 and a half minutes gone. Third quarter at the Grandy Slogan Sports scoreboard. Quick kick into Fitzsimmons on half-back, takes the one-hander and then runs off. Two bounces, three bounces through centre wing. Goes to the right foot, kick down, measures it towards Pittman. First clear air he's got from Lima all day. Takes the mark, 65 out, chips the ball up for Briggy. McNamara at the back, punched away, does nicely. Needs some support. This ball still in dispute. Oh, Briggy tried to kick it off the ground. In frustration more than anything, probably. Because McNamara's outpointed him this afternoon. But was there that much danger in that? No, well, no, I think he followed through, though. That was the thing. No, fair enough. <coughs> fair enough. So the free kick coming back. A short little kick over the top. Looking for Bazzano. Wasn't great, but he's got a bit of time. And oh, he oh, traps geez. it beautifully. and runs through half back. And he chips it towards center wing, uh, the centre of the ground. Ball, though. Back the other way. Woods. Goes towards half forward. Well, Parker, a chance now. 70 out, plays on. Have to hurry. 50 out, right foot kick long towards the square. Two on one. Ball misses. Three for one behind. So it goes 7 11, 53 north. They trail Bell Post Hill 12 14 86. Smith's as uh, DeGrandy Cycle and Sport third quarter scoreboard. 33 minutes played. So Lima decides to go wide to the back pocket. Poposki takes the mark. No rush, umpire not calling him to play on at this stage. He decides to come round the boundary line. Target's going to be Addy. He's up, doesn't try to take the mark. Taps it back in towards 50. Picked up by Key. Stopped, propped. Went back on his left side. Kick wasn't good. Briggy was leading out over the back towards McNamara. But again, the ball will run and go over the boundary line. And it's going to be thrown back in. 32 or 33 minutes gone in this third quarter. Got time on this one, Grub. Yeah, 13 minutes. <laughs> 13 minutes, 8 seconds. What's the diff? So the ball thrown back in. Rickett taps to the front of the contest. Picked up. Well, kicks round the body. And only as far as Hardman. So he's just uh, on his range here. Lee Hardman can line up and go long and deep to the goal square. Miller's there by himself, unattended. Stevie Rickett's also calling for the ball long. So he loads up, goes long. Play, North Geelong plays with the bounce, well, the sit on the contest, oh. but it's going to be pushed through for a minor yeah, score. by <laughs> Just read it magnificently. He knew exactly what he was going to do. Oh, the siren sent it. Yep. Yeah, siren's gone. So at three-quarter time, North Geelong will go in at 7-12-54.
Bell Post Hill, 12, 14, 86. Goal kickers for North Geelong. We have two each to Benny Bryant and Sam Clark. One to Paul Briggy, Jamie Pittman and Dan Key. And for Bell Post Hill, Justin Tarr with four, Rob Wood with two, McLeod one, Page one, Whitney Dillon, that is one, Sergeant Carter one, and Lentini and Willie Urquhart all have one. So three-quarter time in the grand final, Bell Post Hill. With the lead in the ascendancy, 12 14 86, they lead North Geelong 7 12 54. Take a break back with the final quarter of the grand final after this on 94.7 The Pulse. They lead North Geelong 7 12 54.